Welcome back to Plant Style Plastic. I'm Nikita, and today we're making soft, chewy gingerbread cookies. This recipe is going to be pretty similar to the chocolate chip cookies I released a few weeks ago, using almond butter and oat flour as the secret ingredients to give you oil-free, egg-free, and gluten-free cookies without sacrificing on great texture. They're also just as simple to whip up. You'll only need one bowl and enough time to mix everything together, chill your dough, and make them before eating them straight out of the oven. So here's everything you'll need to make this recipe. I'll also leave everything in the description box below, as well as a link to the blog post with some festive photos and a printable recipe card. We'll start with said bowl, blending and pouring in oats, then adding our other dry ingredients. Sugar, powdered ginger, baking powder, baking soda, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, and salt, before mixing everything and making sure to break up any clumps of spices. You can also sift these ingredients together if you have one and want to be a proper baker to make sure everything is evenly distributed. Next, you'll measure out your almond butter, lemon juice, and applesauce. If you don't have any applesauce, you can actually make it yourself with a fresh apple blended with a bit of water, or depending on what you have on hand, substitute a half ripe banana or a flax egg in its place, which is just two tablespoons of ground flax seeds and a quarter cup of water. Before mixing your wet and dry ingredients into a dough, add either molasses or maple syrup. Molasses is the more common ingredient in ginger cookies, but it's not always available. With maple syrup as an alternate, your cookies will just be lighter in color and taste slightly different, but will come out just as good. From here, we're just playing with the ratio of water and flour to get the right consistency. I start with two tablespoons and add an additional one to two tablespoons at a time until I get a sticky texture that will almost stay in a ball but begins to deflate once I stop working with it. Finding the right consistency for your dough will be dependent on the ambient temperature in your kitchen and while it may take a little bit of effort to figure out or even making this recipe a couple of times to get familiar, once you've got it they are easy to make and a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Chill your dough for at least 15 minutes before checking its texture and adjusting as needed with additional water and flour. Then form your cookies using about two to three tablespoons per cookie and chill them on a cookie sheet again for 10 more minutes. During this time, you can preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. After the cookies and their accompanying sheet are chilled, place them in the oven for 18 minutes or until they've got a light golden brown on top and are baked through. We'll then transfer them to a cooling rack and serve one up with a glass of almond milk for a taste test. These cookies are the perfect blend of classic holiday spices. The balance of ginger, nutmeg, and clove is pleasant and nostalgic and will put you right into the holiday spirit with both the smell in your kitchen and the flavor in your mouth. If you wanna add the barefoot Contessa spin to these classic treats, you can mix chopped crystallized ginger into the cookie dough before baking and sprinkle a little extra sugar over top to make them extra fancy for friends, family, or old Saint Nick. For how they stack up against an alternative non-vegan homemade option, my recipe is about the same cost, but has 15 times more fiber and you'll get to eat a little bit more of them for the same number of calories. If you want all the nutrition details for these cookies, you can check out the recipe card on the blog, which has a full nutrition label that links out to Chronometer. So that's it for today's recipe. If you try them out, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to my blog for recipes right to your inbox and connect with me on social media for day-to-day -day content. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and come back next time. Bye!